This LOS is identify the relationships among a bond's price, coupon rate, maturity, and market discount rate yield to maturity. Bond prices and the time value money. So now we're looking at relationships between the bond price and bond characteristics. The price of a fixed rate bond will change whenever the market discount rate changes. Four relationships about the change in the bond price given the market discount rate are as follows. Number one, the bond price is inversely related to the market discount rate. When the market discount rate increases, the bond price decreases, the inverse effect, okay? Number two, for the same coupon rate and time to maturity, the percentage price change is greater in absolute value, meaning without regard to the sign of the change, when the market discount rate goes down than when it goes up. That's a convexity effect, okay? Uh, you'll see that more, we're gonna elaborate on that when we look at a table and we look at the chart, okay? Uh, number three, for the same time to maturity, a lower coupon bond has a greater percentage price change than a higher coupon bond when the market discount rate changes by the same amount. That's the coupon effect, okay? And number four, generally, for the same coupon rate, the longer term bond has a greater percentage price change than a shorter term bond when their market discount rates change by the same amount, which is the maturity effect. Okay, we're gonna look at this chart. I've done some color coding, and the purpose is, is that we're gonna go through the four relationships about the change in the bond price given the market discount rate. Now for the first one, it's easy. We know that um, if the interest rates go up, the price is gonna go down, okay? So let's just look here. We have bonds A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So you can see for bonds A, B, C, coupon rate 10, 20, 30%, maturity uh, 10 years. Then for D, E, F, again, coupon rate 10, 20, 30%, same coupon rate, but the maturity is 20 years. And then finally, the last grouping here, GHI, uh, coupon rate 10, 20, 30%, but the maturity is 30 years, okay? So the first one, the bond price is inversely related to the market discount rate. We can see that here. So if we look at bond A, for example, start with the first one, that uh, the coupon rate is 10%, the maturity is 10 years. If the, inter if the market rate was 20%, then the, in the uh, price would be 58, okay? So if the market rate uh, of interest went down, the price would go up. So that's the first relationship, and that's one that we should know no problem. But it's the second one and the third one and the fourth one uh, relationships that we need to zoom in, and that's why I've done a bit of color coding here. So for the second one, let's, let's look at it again. It says, for the same coupon rate and time to maturity, the percentage price change is greater when the market discount rate goes down then when it goes up, and this is due to the convexity effect. So we can see that here from this first row, okay? Because let's look that uh, we started with the price at 20%, and then here the discount rates go down, and here this column is the discount rates go up. We've got the price and the percentage change. So the rule is saying that the percentage price change is greater when the market discount rate goes down. So here we can see when we move to 19%, the percentage change is 4.95%, and if the rates went up by 1% from 20 to 21, then the percentage change is 4.6%. So that's rule number two in the red boxes, okay? It means that the percentage change is greater when the rates go down than go up. So let's go to the next rule. The next rule is for the same time to maturity. So when we're looking at the same time to maturity, a lower coupon bond has a greater percentage change than a higher coupon bond. And for this rule, we're gonna zoom in on the gold boxes, okay? Because it says here for the same time to maturity, and that's the 20 years, okay? But we're looking at a lower coupon bond, the 10%, and the 30%. So there, again, the rule says for the same time to maturity, a lower coupon bond has a greater percentage price change than a higher coupon bond. And can we see that? Yes, we're gonna look in this column that uh, we're starting always with the price at 20%, and then we're moving to the price at 19%. We can see that as we go down to 19%, 
The price change for the lower coupon bond was 5.43%, and for the higher coupon bond, it was 4.99%. So again, for the same time to maturity, a lower coupon bond has a greater percentage change than a higher coupon bond. Then we're going to the last rule, rule number four. Generally for the same coupon rate, a longer term bond has a greater percentage price change than a shorter term bond. So for that rule, I used the color coding of blue. So again, it's the same coupon rate. We can see here 20% and 20%, but we're looking at different maturities, 10 years versus the 30 years. So again, we all bonds started at the price where the interest rate is 20%. Again, we're gonna look at the change to 19%, and you can see that the, uh, the, the 10-year bond changed by 4.34%, and the 30-year bond changed by 5.23%. So it says here for the same coupon, 20%, the longer term bond has the greater percentage change. Again, for the same coupon rate, a longer term bond has a greater percentage change than a shorter term bond, okay? So these uh, last two slides are very important. The previous slide has the rules, and then this table has the rules, uh, you know, a table color-coded to illustrate those rules and it's very important to understand because we can get a lot of multiple choice questions most likely least likely uh, greater less than and uh, so this helps you uh, memorize those four rules the four relationships about the change in the bond price given the market discount rate okay okay this is a nice uh, slide to have right now it's not a need to have it's a fast forward to the reading on fixed income risk and return it's just that we were talking about the relationships about the change in bond prices given the market discount rate. And it said that uh, the second one was for the same coupon rate and time to maturity, the percentage price change is greater when the market discount rate goes uh, down than when it goes up. And it was talking about the convexity effect, okay? And so here I just wanted to flash forward and show you that uh, we can see here on the uh, y-axis we've got the price. And on the x-axis, we've got the yield. So we know as the yield increases, the price decreases. As the yield decreases, the price is going to increase, okay? And uh, so we have a, a uh, the price is where it's tangent to the yield curve. We've got the, uh, um, you know, the price to yield curve. It's not a straight line when we're looking at bonds, okay? So what's happening is, is that when we're increasing the yield or decreasing yield, there's two effects impacting the price, and one is due to convexity, and one is due to duration, okay? And that's what the convexity effect is, and that, that, that explains why for the same coupon rate and time to maturity, the percentage price change is greater when the market uh, discount rate goes down. So it, we're talking about uh, this space over here, okay? That the curve is, uh, it's not, the same shape of the curve is down in this area, and that's the estimated change due to convexity. And it has the percentage price change is greater when the market discount rate goes down, and that's the convexity effect. So let's do a quick practice question to check our understanding. Suppose a bond's price is expected to increase by 5% if its market discount rate decreases by 100 basis points. If the bond's market discount rate increases by 100 basis points, the bond's price is most likely to change by A, 5%, B, less than 5%, or C, more than 5%. Okay, I like this question because it shows you the importance of understanding and memorizing the rules, okay? The relationships between the bond price and the bond characteristics. So this question is just based on uh, relationship number two. And for the same coupon rate and time to maturity, the percentage price change is greater when the market discount rate goes down than when it goes up. So this question was saying that if a, a bond's price is expected to increase by 5% if the discount rate goes down, so what's going to happen to the bond price if the market discount rate increases? Well, B is correct. The uh, bond price is most likely to change by less than 5%. Uh, because based on that relationship, the convexity effect. So the bond price is most likely to change by less than 5%. The relationship between bond prices and market discount rate is not linear. The percentage price change is greater in absolute value when the market discount rate goes down 
Then when it goes up by the same amount, the convexity effect, so if a 100 basis point decrease in the market rate will cause the, uh, will cause the price of the bond to increase by 5%, then a 100 basis point increase in the market discount rate will cause the price of the bond to decline by amount of less than 5%. Excellent little practice question based on the relationships between bond price and market discount rate. Another practice question, an analyst is evaluating the two bonds below. So we've got bond A and we've got bond B. We've got the coupon, maturity, callable, uh, whether it's callable or not, both are not. We've got the price and we've got the yield. So bond A has a coupon 6.9%, maturity is 2019 October, uh, not callable, price is 102.17 and the yield is 6.6%. Uh, bond B has a higher coupon, 8.25%, Maturity is similar, it's just off by a few days, November the 4th, 2019, not callable. Price is 102.39 and the yield is 7.9%. So compared with bond A, bond B most likely will have less interest rate risk and more reinvestment risk. B, less reinvestment risk and more interest rate risk. Or C, more interest rate risk and more reinvestment risk. Okay, another good question that is based on the four relationships about the change in bond price given the market discount rate. The correct answer here is A. Since both securities have essentially the same maturity, all else the same, the bond with the lower coupon rate will have a higher sensitivity to changes in interest rate. Okay, The higher the yield on the bond, the more the reinvestment risk because the investor must be able to reinvest at the same yield. So compared with bond A, bond B will have less interest rate risk and more reinvestment risk. So again, remember this question was based on the third relationship. For the same time to maturity, a lower coupon bond has greater price change than a higher coupon bond. Okay, So bond B had the higher coupon, so it had the lower price change, which is the less interest rate risk. Very good question as well, based on the four relationships about the change in the bond price given the market discount rate. Here's another practice question, a good one. Two amortizing bonds have the same maturity date and the same yield to maturity. The reinvestment risk for an investor holding the bonds to maturity is greatest for the bond that is A, zero coupon bond, B, a coupon bond selling at a discount to par, or C, a coupon bond selling at a premium to par. Okay, this question is not too bad. It says the reinvestment risk for an investor holding the bonds is greatest for, well, it's not the zero coupon bond. Remember on a zero coupon bond, there is no reinvestment risk because you're not being paid any interest. So A is out. So then you had to figure out whether the reinvestment risk is higher for a coupon bond selling at a discount or selling at a premium. But because they have the same yield to maturity, we know that the bond selling for a premium has the higher coupon rate. So reinvestment risk refers to the risk that interest rates will decline, causing the future income expected from reinvesting coupon payments to decline. So the more coupon interest being paid, the greater the reinvestment risk. So the correct answer is C. Again, that's a nice little uh, question. No calculations. You just have to think your way through the relationships. And one last practice question to finish this LOS. It's a good one. Uh, so we've got three bonds, bonds A, B, C. We've got the price, the coupon rate, and the time to maturity. So the question is, which bond will most likely experience the smallest percentage change in price if market discount rates for all three bonds increase by 100 basis points? So bond A has a price of 101.886, coupon rate 5%, time to maturity two years. Uh, bond B has priced at par, coupon rate is 6%, two years to maturity. Bond C has 90, a price 97.327, coupon rate 5%, time to maturity three years. So which bond will most likely experience the smallest percentage change in price if discount rates increase? Bond A, bond B, or bond C? So again, this is going back to the four relationships about the change in the bond price given the market discount rate. A nice question to end on, B is correct. Bond B will most likely experience the smallest percent change in price 
if market discounts rate uh, increase by 100 basis points. A higher coupon bond has a smaller per percentage price change than a lower coupon bond when their market discount rates change by the same amount. That's the coupon effect, okay? That was the third relationship that we looked at. Again, for the same time to maturity, a lower coupon bond has greater price change than a higher coupon bond. That was the rule that we said. And so here we're looking for most likely have the smallest. So that's the higher coupon bond, okay? Also, a shorter term bond generally has a smaller percentage price change than a longer term bond. That was rule number four, and that's the maturity effect, okay? And bond B will experience a smaller percentage change in price uh, bond A because of the coupon effect. And uh, bond B will also experience a smaller percentage uh, change in price than bond C because of the coupon effect and the maturity effect. So again, a nice little question here to end on where we were looking at the convexity effect, the coupon effect, and the maturity effect. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.